to show you how to clone some basil. I'm going to be taking 40 clones to my work in the next couple of weeks and it's uh, great for cloning. And I have so much of it, you know, it just keeps growing, so why not? So I'm going to take some of this uh, the taller stuff up here. As an example, this branch right here, if you look underneath it, you're going to see a node right here and another node right up here. So I'm going to use this as my stem. I'm just going to cut just above the leaves on the node that's below the top one. And so what I've done is I've left these leaves um, and these are going to grow into new stems here. And I'm going to harvest these leaves for eating. Now the light's going to be able to um, hit this stem right here, and that's going to turn into more basil plants, and it just keeps generating really fast. And just to kind of show you what hydroponics can do, um, this is one. Oops, this is one very large basil leaf. So if you take a look at my hand, I'm a pretty big guy, big hands, and. Uh, that's a larger than the palm of my hand, one leaf. So the next step in, in harvesting the basil is I'm going to remove the larger leaves and I'm going to eat these as well. And the reason I'm removing them is because I want to um, allow the smaller stuff to get more light and I don't want all the energy of the plant or the cutting to go into the leaves. I want it to go into root production. So these will go into some salads and again some smoothies. Basil is one of my favorite plants to grow just because of how fast it generates. And it smells amazing. For getting the roots to come out of my basil that I just cut, I'm going to use just a rooting hormone. Um, it's just a powder and I'm just going to dab a little bit on the stem. I just stick it right in the bottle and now you're going to have some excess on your root. And what I'm going to do with the excess is I'm just going to tap it off back into the bottle. Okay, now that the hormone is on the basil, I'm going to grab a, a piece of rock wool that I've been pre-soaking. And I'm going to squeeze some of the excess water out. It's really important for uh, um, oxygen to be hitting the stems in order for root production to occur. And um, that's why I'm not going to have them absolutely drenched. And so then I'm going to put the stem right into the rock roll. It's as easy as that. And I'm going to add them to the collection that I have over here. Just put it down. And uh, I have this tray on a heating mat. The heating mat will help, uh, I leave it on 24-7, it'll increase the temperature and within a week and a half or so you'll actually see a bunch of roots coming out of the bottom of your rock wool and then it's ready to uh, transport to, to your hydroponic systems. And of course I will be using a dome lid to keep the heat in. It's now seven days later and I'm going to show you how the basil has rooted. As you can see the six to eight inches of basil that I cut off it's all now regrown and it's touching the bottom of the LED lights. This is what the roots of the basil look like after seven days. As you can see they're well established and the basil is ready to be transplanted to a hydroponic system. If there are any entrepreneurs out there Basil is really easy to clone and transplant. It grows very fast if you keep cutting it. Um, it would be great to market and to sell in farmers markets or to grocery stores. This is the amount of basil I clipped just from four plants in, in seven days.